Uh, could you tell us, fill us in on the last 24 hours in regards to the investigation? Look, yesterday um, a 51-year-old male person contacted CAN CIB uh, and uh, wanted to give some information in relation to this investigation. Uh, as a result, um, detectives from the CAN CIB and the Homicide Squad travelled to an address in Coranda uh, where they spoke to this male person. Um, he uh, subsequently made a, a number of ambitions in relation to um, the murder of um, Miss Liddy um, and as a result uh, he was later charged uh, with murder and um, is now in custody. Um, are you able to say what his connection to her was? Was he a friend, a family member? No, I can't say at this stage. He, was he the cyclist at all that made the call uh, to Crime Stoppers? Look, uh, I believe that uh, he has made some admissions in relation to that. So he was the voice on the end of the line saying that there's a girl bleeding in a bus stop? Look, he, had, he made some admissions about making a phone call, so... Right. Yeah, that's about all I can tell you at this stage. Um, what will you be looking for at the, obviously there's something set up at Coranda, um, what will you be investigating there? Look, there's a, a crime scene to process uh, at Coranda, um, so we'll be working there uh, until that's uh, completed. Um, that's part of our ongoing investigation. The investigation uh, doesn't stop, it, there's still uh, uh, bits and pieces to be followed up and finalised before the, uh, the investigation uh, can be considered complete. And did police probing lead to them finding this alleged offender? Sorry? Did, did your investigations, like your messages being sent out and all of that, did, did that lead to finding this alleged offender? Look, uh, I think um, from what this gentleman told detectives, uh, he was expecting to be visited and um, uh, we're assuming that the, the great media um, support that we've had in regard to this investigation and uh, has, has uh, built up over time and, um, yeah, and this guy, uh, as a result, has decided to come forward. Is there any idea of whether Erica has been at this place in Coranda and that was where she may have been assaulted and then taken to Freshwater? Look, that's part of the uh, matter that will be material that we put before the court and I can't say too much at this stage. So but they were known to each other in some way? Uh, look, I can't probably comment on that either at this stage. Um, um, I know it's kind of rephrasing what you said, but obviously I would imagine that it sounds like the public have helped you in your investigation here. Is that, is that the case? Uh, look, um, the investigation has uh, received a, a lot of community uh, support and information, uh, which we've uh, followed um, obviously it's been a protracted investigation and uh, we've, we've been assisted by the media in putting various pieces uh, of information out there and uh, we believe that has had an impact uh, on this particular person. Is this case any different to others in the fact that you know, the reaction that you've had from the community? Um, look, yeah, it, it depends on, you know, what people actually know and um, we, we've had a fair bit of support uh, from the community in relation to this and uh, we thank all those people who've come forward with, um, with information, uh, every bit of information that uh, is brought forward to us is followed up and, um, and we, we follow all those things out as part of the investigation. So, What was the uh, murder weapon? Uh, I can't tell you that at this stage. Are you still looking for anyone else? Is he the only person that was a suspect in this? At this stage, we're not looking for anyone else. Okay. And do you think that his, just want to get this clear, is his house at Coranda, is that believed to be where she was killed? Or are you looking, or is there another primary scene other than the bus stop? Uh, look, the, the address at Coranda is uh, considered probably the primary um, crime scene. Is there anything else that you'd like to add, Inspector? No, um, other than to, s to thank um, or acknowledge the, um, the work of the, the detectives that were involved in this matter. Um, they were homicide de squad detectives from Brisbane plus uh, 
can CIB detectives, and they've been working um, flat out for the last five weeks um, putting this together. I mean, there hasn't been a lot of information, so it's been hard work, and um, we've been supported by the media, and we, we thank you uh, for that as well. Have you spoken to the Liddy family since this has happened? Yes, detectives um, did contact the Liddy family yesterday. I'm not a, I'm not familiar with what that conversation was. I know that they have um, made the family aware though, of this um, um, outcome. Do you know whether the family knew him at all? No, I'm not aware of that. So at the moment we think that she's an innocent girl out in the streets and somehow she's been picked up and taken to Coranda and murdered? Uh, look, I can't um, probably extrapolate any further than the information I've already given you.